Okay, very short interruption. I just wanted to say hi. It's been a while. I hope you've been well. I've included a little life update at the very end of my video in case you're interested. And also super quickly, I've been working on a fun little project. The first one of these videos is finally out. It's about an Australian city that apparently has Luxa as its signature dish. Go check it out, show it some love. But watch this video first. And with that said, let's just dive right in. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. A while back, I asked you guys for recommendations on lunch spots here in Sydney CBD. I got a lot of wrecks. In today's video, I'm gonna try and hit up as many of these places as possible. As always, we'll do a part two if we need to, but without further ado, Sydney CBD lunch spots. Okay, this spot I got numerous recommendations to come called Brooklyn Bridge Deli and they specialize in all things sandwiches and I ended up getting one of their signature sandwiches which is the Reuben sandwich. Look at this, this looks awesome. Corned beef, Russian dressing, Swiss cheese, sauerkraut, in between rye bread. The corned beef is very tender, it's savory, it's meaty and it pairs so well with the sauerkraut. That nice sour acidity. Okay, and one thing that I think is super important for a sandwich like this, which has so much stuff in between the bread, is actually the softness of the bread. Because when something is super toasted and crusty, I don't know if it's the same with you. If I bite into it or if I see someone bite into it, I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is going to cut the top of my mouth and it's going to hurt. Do you know what I'm talking about? So this is great because the bread is soft. Anyway, thank you so much to all you guys who put this place on my radar, but we're gonna hit up more lunch spots that have been recommended by you guys. Okay, this next spot that we're at right now, it's actually an onigiri cafe that's tucked in. You said this is Surrey Hills? Yeah. It's actually super popular. They've got seats kind of outside their shop. I've got three different onigiris that I've got to try. I got a soup and then I have a coffee coming as well because if I see coffee on the menu, I cannot resist. Okay, the first thing that I really wanted to try before it gets cold is the pork and miso soup. So it has carrots, pieces of pork belly, some uh, spring onions, but yes. So this is a small version. It's kind of like a teacup. Ooh. Okay, it's actually gay homemade. It has like a yuzu flavor as well. Okay, right. you try. Oh, this is really good. Yeah. That's really yummy. Okay, so onigiri, in case you've never had it before, it's rice balls with a filling on the inside and they have a range of different options available. They spam a of egg omelette and then I think there's some sort of mayo in there as well. The only thing I wish was that the seaweed was crispier. But I guess it's hard if you put it all in a package, eh? So this is the chili tasu. Too spicy for your level zero spice tolerance. The pork is really, really flavorful. I think my only issue with this is I wish the seaweed was crispy or like it was on the side or something. That's the only thing. Janice's favorite tuna mayo. Yes. Yeah, this is just your standard tuna and mayo. The thing is like they make it fresh like you see them make these yeah. rice spores fresh but it's just they have to put it away in the packaging and the condensation makes it yeah yeah, yeah. but it's still good it is still good i still like it i just i it's still good 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 So we've just arrived at Tiny's. This is a spot that I got lots of recommendations for. I've actually never been here before. I asked um, the guys here what they would recommend as a sandwich and they listed the spicy chicken one, but I can't do too much spice. So I've opted for the deli. All right, let's give this a go. I got it on white bread. You can choose between white or brown. We've got cheese, we've got a range of meats, lettuce, we've got some pickles as well. Mm. The combo of the creamy sauce, you've got that crunch of fresh lettuce, you've got a stack of cold meat, and then you've got cheese at the very top. I really like it. It sounds really trivial, 
But one thing I really like about this is like the bread isn't super hard and you can kind of squeeze it all together so it's reasonably biteable. Okay, just done with sandwiches at Tiny's Sandwich Bar. These sandwiches were anything but tiny. Okay, so I'm currently at a place called David's Kitchen. I have a special guest joining me and she was telling me that this is a place that she really likes. It's quite a lot of options. Okay, our special guest has arrived. I usually bring lunch, but because it's Janice Kung is shouting, that's why I'm here. I recommend the wonton and barbecue pork noodle soup, but today I got the Hainan chicken rice because I feel like some extra chicken. Our food has just arrived. The portions are quite decent. We've got a good amount of rice. I just had a taste of the pork belly, but I'm gonna do it again. This is great for a lunchtime food. You know why I love it? Because the food arrives pretty fast, and so you don't waste a lot of your lunch hour just waiting for the food to come. I thought this would be more spicy, but it's actually not that spicy. I wish it was spicier. Let me try your Hainan chicken rice. The chicken is smooth and tender, but I wish there was more chicken flavor. It's good with the sauce, and I can see why you said you wanted a bit more chicken flavor, but the sauce makes it as well, and the rice is really good. Would recommend. All right, this is what we've got from Jimmy's Falafel. We ordered the original pita, so this is what we have. Wow. I was speaking to the kitchen staff there and they were like, have you ever been here before? And I was like, no, I got a bunch of recommendations to visit. And so they threw in some additional stuff for me to try as well. But let's try the pita first. This has falafel, it has tomatoes, pickles, onions, parsley. It is still warm. The falafel is crispy on the outside and then it's moist and fluffy on the inside. And I can taste the chickpeas and the, and the spices and the herbs. It's nice when you have the pickles and you have the fresh vegetables in combination. I think if I had this for lunch, I'd definitely, I'd definitely be filled up. Okay, there are actually other places on this list that were recommended numerous times, but I just didn't have the stomach space for it. So in no particular order, this Malay Chinese. I used to go to this place so much for laksa and harmi. It used to be in Wynyard on Hunter Street and now it's moved to Circular Quay. And one of the things I remember most distinctly about this place is almost every single time I went, there's always a line. But when you pay for your order, they don't actually give you like a number or anything. Somehow they're able to remember what you've ordered and who you are so that when your food comes, they're just like, you. This is yours. And another popular entry is AP Bakery. I've been there twice for pies. It's not bad. And then, I'm so glad someone suggested this one, the sambal. So every single time I go and when I order their nazi goreng, the rice is always perfect. I guess there's something about like the heat of their wok and then the sweet soy sauce. You've got some savory, you've got some sweet, and also if you do go, you absolutely have to try the sambal. I mean, they're named the sambal. My favorite one there is the eggplant one. And then these other two, I feel like they're more reserved for like special occasions. One of the ones was Toddy's. I don't think I'd go to Toddy's alone just cause a lot of their plates are for sharing. I did bring my parents there once and then they went back by themselves two more times in the same week, which I thought was a little bit excessive. Uh, and the other one is Baluka. So they do pretty epic burgers. I do find that every single time I've had one of the burgers, I kind of need a nap afterwards. So plan accordingly if you're gonna go there on a work day for lunch. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give this video a like. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye. If you're still here, you're probably the only people that would really care about what I'm about to say. I haven't posted a video on YouTube for almost three months, and that's like the longest I've ever not posted since starting my YouTube channel. And the reason for that is, is just that I've just been really sick multiple times the past few months. I've never really gotten this sick before. Touch wood. I hope I don't get that sick again. But there was just something really deadly going around, I guess. And 
I would be out for a couple of weeks at a time. And by the time I started to get better, I got sick again. Um, and it just made it really difficult for me to go out and, and film and shoot videos. And what I've learned, and I guess the moral of this story is health is the most important thing. It's like this foundation upon which everything is built on. Anyway, I'm back. There is going to be another video soon because I've already filmed it and I'm almost done editing it. So yes, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for still being here until the very end. I really do appreciate it a lot. And I'll see you very shortly. Oh, and by the way, this is Archie. And you might hear some scratches on the door. That's our other cat, Goonie. Archie is literally a baby. He is less than six months old. We've had him for a few months now. And although he's only got one eye, his other eye is very sharp. A year ago, I did not have any cats. I did not think about cats. And now I am slowly but surely becoming a cat lady.